All right, so at this place, you come over here and check the mailbox. I'm definitely not Tony. I'm definitely not Rob. Is this my paperwork? Oh, that's my paperwork. So this is where you get your paperwork here. Eco shred. All right, we're good. So we got our paperwork from this shipper right here. We got to finish unhooking this trailer, hook up the other trailer, do some pre-trip, you know, make sure everything's safe. And then we're going to drive it out of here. Twisted. Our other trailer's right on the other side. We're picking up 74. So is this one right here. makes it easy whenever you it would be easier if there wasn't all that mud back there because I'm gonna have to walk through the mud there's a lot of mud here I think we'll hook it up pull it out of the mud and then pre-trip it unless you want to crawl under the trailer in the mud me neither. Yeah, I see him. I was moving first. No, they don't get mad. I mean, they can, but I mean, like, I was here first. Plus, for me to hook up to this trailer, like, I hook up to this trailer. I still got to hook it up and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't like how that is. I'm not straight enough. Mm -hmm. All right, come around. I'll show you what I was talking about when yesterday or. Whenever I was talking about the jump in the kingpin. So whenever I whenever I got out, I stuck my hand in the mud. Great. Well, remember whenever I said that there if there's a gap, it's gonna jump over that and the trailer hit the trailer hit the truck. Yeah. That's what I'm checking. So once I get the first tire under there, yeah. I get out and look at this and make sure there's no gap. See how it's touching the apron? There's yeah. no gap. Yeah. So whenever I back under there, it's just gonna slide up there. The kingpin's gonna go right in there. Click, yeah. locked on. Then I'm gonna tug it and then we'll get out and check it. Oh. And like I said, I'm, pro I'm pulling it out of here. We're not gonna be in all that mud. Oh. Yeah, I'll stay right there. I'm gonna back under it. try to get out of here pretty fast before some more trucks come in here so we're gonna hook this one up pull it out do the pre-trip thing and then hit the road so we will be back down hard. Is it like off or is it like No.
gotta manhandle it. <laughs> So like I said, pulled it out of the mud. Now we're gonna do a pre-trip. All right, you ready to check this thing? Yeah. All right. What you looking at? Looking at let's, let's try, don't forget these lights. Clearance lights up there. Select the tape. Then when you're here, look we'll at your landing gear. Check the apron. Check the frame and cross members. What you can see with this skirt here. Keep going back. Light. Then under here, you can see the brake lining, brake jumps, brake chamber, uh, shock absorber. And then they're dual, so you gotta check both tires and make sure there's nothing between them. Same thing on this side. See the, all the stuff? Hey, watch out, he's he's backing up right here. It's out of here. It's all you. Make a left. Good turn. Good turn. I was I was real close to telling you to turn the wheel, but I was all like, I know you know what you're doing, so like. Uh oh, your blinker's still on. <laughs> Take us home. Take us home. We'll be there around eight or nine. You got a hot day tonight. We'll be there around eight or nine. Oh, I thought you said we had a hot day tonight. No, no, I was no. like, I don't have a hot day, but if you hot have day. a hot day, what? Well, I got a girlfriend. I ain't got time for that. Oh, you got a girlfriend. Just like the guy. Everybody here has someone. That's what I'm talking about. Getting ready to settle down, huh? I can't say that word because last time I checked, I said it the wrong way. <laughs> settle down means that you're going to get married. You yeah, said settle really down. Settle down just means like, you know, getting ready for, you know, for a new life as in having a partner in your life. I guess kind of. Usually when people say they're settling down, that means they're getting married. That's why we thought you were getting married.
exit. And we're gonna turn left at the light. We're gonna go over there to the TA, use the bathroom. And they got a Dunkin' Donuts next door. Just, just saying there's a Dunkin' Donuts next door. Hey, the right turn lane. This is one of those diverging diamonds right here. Two hands on that wheel. You know you're supposed to keep two hands on that wheel. <laughs> two hands on a wheel. That's the way we gotta drive. Uh -oh. That's one, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we're putting your uh, beautiful singing voice <laughs> everywhere. We're gonna sign you up for American Idol next year. Nah, that's actually gonna be the You're gonna go to the auditions. Then we're gonna make a lane change to the left after we make this turn. So whenever it's safe, make a lane change to the left. And we're gonna turn left at this light. Slow down, slow down. And since we're just gonna use the restroom, we'll just go into one of those fuel bays, hit the restroom, quick in and out, back on the road. There's no rush. Yes, no rush. Yes, yes. I got texting and driving, man. In the pickup truck. This way keep coming this way we want to stay out wide that way we have room to turn in there all right go like you're going behind that bobtail so start turning left all the way all the way that way that trailer has time to come over see how the back of it's coming over and now go right into the air stay wide stay to the right see the trailer had enough time to come over yeah. to track over stay in the middle Go oh, ahead, yeah, go up to the yellow line. Since we're just that way, if anyone comes behind us, they can uh, get fuel. All right, set the brakes, put it in neutral, bathroom. Yes, sir. Turn it off. Turn it off. Stop wasting my fuel. Yes, sir. <laughs> I money talks. Money talks. trash I don't keep a trash can in my truck because my rule is always throw it away always throw it away now the trick to this is you go to you go order your coffee right 
go order your coffee, and then hit the restroom. Because by the time you come out of the restroom, your coffee will, will be ready. Look at the sleeper on that thing. Look at those tanks. Oh, I got the Duncan, man. I'm happy now. Let's roll. Uh, I'm happy now. We got to go behind this building. Come out this way. Come out this way. This way. This way. So we got to go around that truck right there. That way we get all this extra room right here to make this turn. That way that trailer has enough room to come around. Amazon. I don't know what they're doing with this back parking lot back here. I, you can't put the trailers on the spots back there? Or what? I don't know what they're doing over here. I remember one night I had a park here. Like I couldn't make it back to the terminal. And, um, and I was trying to back in about where that red truck is over there. And I was having so much problem because there's there's not really a lot of room from here to here. It was the only spot in here. And like this guy helped me out. Like we were, he was all like, man, turn left. And I back up about an inch. Now turn all the way right. Now back up, now turn all the way left again. And we were just fighting it. We finally got it in there. And then the next morning, oh man, it was even hard to get it out of the spot. I, I ended up sliding my tandems all the way to the back just to get it out of the spot. And then I pulled right here and uh, slid them back. We're going to go left. No, it's hard to see. Yeah. Make a good turn. Make a good turn. Two hands on that wheel. Keep those two hands on there, even during turns. And we're going to turn right at the light. Stop. Don't go too far out. As long as it's safe. I don't think it's safe. This Virgin Diamonds always trip me out. Yeah, let's go green. 10 miles an hour in your left turns. You're picking up too much speed. Stay wide. And turn the blinker off because it ain't going to get straight right here. Your lane's ending. Accelerate lane. No, I know it is. I'm just saying, get some speed, man. signs for St. Louis. Yes, See how fast we're going? You maintain your speed, yeah. five to seven. You were speeding up. that way. No, okay. Did it give you a green light? Okay, it's opening. straight if you turn the wheel straight you ain't going at either side
depends if there's a spot. Yeah, put it between those two trailers right there. In one of those spots, either one. That's where they want us to put them if there's room over here. Put them in this one. I don't want to walk through all that black um, tire residue stuff. Come this way more. Get right into it. Keep going up, keep going up, and stop. Set the brakes, put it in neutral, turn it off. Oh, my legs. That was a long drive. How do you feel after driving that long? You did good. I feel like today was better than most of the other days. You did good. Let's unhook this and we can get out of here. What a long day. We started at... I started at 4 a.m. and it's a 8.45. Right back where we started. The Eco Shred. But we are out of here. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video and we are going to get out of here after we unhook this trailer and get out of here. So, oh, don't forget my lock. But we're out of here. Still enjoying the great content? Click that next video right there to keep yourself informed. Knowledge is power. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to every video. Also, make sure that you're dropping that referral code on that driver application, C-O-X-D-J-O.